with Patrick Cunningham. Well, the ISU Redbirds return to Horton Fieldhouse tonight for just the second time in over three decades. This event such a great success last year, and this year was just as intense a matchup. A great scene tonight in normal as the Redbirds set to take on Norfolk State. Fans coming in and packing this place to the Raptors. The students really showing out near the end of the semester. This was the place to be this evening, but it took a while for the offense to get going. Dalton Banks loading up the three and drains it. He finished with 10. Redbirds needed 11 minutes to get their first field goal. Darius Burford takes the ball down the court and he is going to finish with the layup. Nice floater. He had 11. Then Banks dishes to Jordan Davis. He's going to miss here, but Brandon Lee, the Illini transfer there for the rebound and the putback. Miles Foster then going to pass to Malachi Boindexter. Dishes to Johnny Kinziger for the three. Then Foster passes to Kendall Lewis here for the dunk. Chaotic scene here, though, in the second half. Both coach Brian Peden and Norfolk State coach getting into an animated shadowing match. The players joined in. The refs ended up breaking it up. There were some ejections. Kendall Lewis throwing it down, trying to spark a comeback. Then Banks, he's going to dish it to Foster. Gives it back to Kinziger for the three. A team-high 13 points tonight. Then Banks tossing to Kinziger for yet another three. Got the bucket and the foul. He was four of seven from three, but they come up just short. ISU loses a tough physical battle, 64-58 in Horton. Uh, it's my challenge to our team. Uh, these moments, it hurts, should hurt, should hurt, but it's not the time to do anything other than man up. And we got to be accountable in these moments, and we got to learn from it and we got to get better from this. And if we do that, we're not far off, man, from being able to beat teams like this. Redbirds lose a tough one tonight in Morton. 